What's up? It's Nico and Dan here with Everyday Gaming with another box opening. <laughs> We've got a, uh, a box of the new Pokemon set, Team Up. This is another huge set because uh, I think it's 160-something uh, cards. 185 with just regular and then I think 190-something with the uh, higher rarities. Okay. So uh, with, uh, with this set, we're getting introduced to all of the, new, the new mechanic of Team Up. Where we're getting these big GX, uh, these big GX basic Pokemon that uh, have a lot of health, but they uh, normally their attacks are using a lot of uh, energy. So hopefully we want to see some of those. Definitely some cool artwork on those and some really nice uh, attacks too. So we've got uh, I think this is 36 packs here. So it's a big set. We got a. A lot of packs, so let's just start opening them. No, I think it's uh, code card down. I don't even, I'm just gonna open them normally. I think it's two to the back, but. Yeah, it's two uh, to the back. We got a, so we just got a reverse there, and nothing else. And open, code card down like that. And then, which two to the back? The front? Or the back two? No, it's towards the back. Yeah. So, here we go. Now, there is a ton of cards in there. Oh, we got the Alolan Executor. This is some really nice art on this card. Looks real dopey and happy to be seeing his little egg babies. Mm -hmm. Morgan's a good card, too. Morgan's all right. I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of the... the, the Quadruplet of them. I think they're a little situational there. So, uh, but I know the Hone Edge is uh, very good right now with yeah, the uh, the doublage. So we got a Hollow Evatile. Now again, some beautiful artwork on these cards. I really do love the, the artwork on Pokemon cards. But we, we do want to be seeing at least uh, Erica's Hospitality. That's a yeah. great card that I just haven't been seeing any of lately. We've we've already opened a couple boxes and we really just haven't seen like any. I think we, we saw one and three. Three, three, three boxes, three only trainer boxes, and a couple random packs, and we've only pulled one. Yeah, I don't. That card is very hard to pull. We got Amanda Buzz as our reverse, but that was it. Two. I think it's. Three, because you get the energy. Yeah. Uh, we got a gold duck doublage. So that's that. That's the card I'm talking about. It's a uh, attack with a uh, tool drop. Can let you yeah. beef up some serious, serious and big attacks. And everything. Just put tools and everything. Go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. We got the uh, rapid ash. Not too great, but mm, like the hand drawn aesthetic of that one. Oh, I didn't put that one to the front. Oh, we got Hitmonchan. These are really nice, the Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. Uh, their attacks are really interesting. I don't think they're too good, but... Oh, oh awesome. We got the, one of the tag teams. We got Latios and Latias, and yeah. it looks like we got the full art version of that card. So, that Not is the definitely most value, nice. But still, like, an yeah. interesting card. Pidgey. Oh. The, the reverse Pidgey. Oh, he got shuffled in. How could I? <laughs> Hopefully we get to see a uh, a full art on... Oh, we got a Pokemon communication. That's another That's really, really good card. card. Yeah. And here's the... Uh, uh, here is the Hitmon lead to go with the Hitmon Chan. Communication is like one of the top ten cards in the set. That's pretty good. Oh, we got a Prism Star. Got the Prism Star Shaman. I don't think she is too great, but still pretty awesome. Still a ton of these packs. Forget how much is in there. Okay. Oh, turn around. Viridian Forest. That's another nice card in this set. Yeah. I think it's definitely going to see some play. Once you tutor out energies for basically nothing. It's really good in the Malamar decks. Oh, cool. We got, uh, got a Charizard. Ooh. This card is actually pretty pretty good right now. That's like Let's one of the best some, uh, single price attackers in this set. Uh, like 
top three. I mean, it still does have the disadvantage of being a stage three, yeah. but it is pretty damn good. Stage two? No, stage two, yes. I always get confused that it's basic and then stage one. Got a Nidoran and... Oh, a Cobalion GX. I actually don't think I've seen this card yet. There's so many GXs and shit in this pack, in this uh, set. <laughs> it's such a huge one. I actually did not realize that was um, a card in the set. Yeah, I pulled it in uh, one of my Elite Trainer boxes. Oh, yeah, you did, you did, you did. Uh, so, hopefully we start seeing some I team really hope we get Jirachi. Jirachi is another great card in this set. Got another communication. That's two. It's definitely pretty worth it. Oh. oh. <clears throat> I really forgot to turn that around. Uh, we got a magic carp. Some, some nice art for magic carp. They, they did them good. I also do like the uh, parasect. I think that card's really interesting. <laughs> Letting you build up damage on confused. I was just thinking of more ways to cheese with Venusaur GX with uh, the burn. Confuse and poison. And we got a Kangaskhan. Oh, I love this. The art on this Alolan uh, Marowak is so cool. With all of them in line like that. I think that's some awesome art on there. And the, the attack's actually not that bad. If you want to play like uh, a Alolan themed deck. I mean, I think it, it, it hits for 120 with two D, with a, just a DCE. Yeah, and the first one lets you tutor out energies. So it's really not that bad of a card. I can't really think of a, a lot of decks that it could be played, but I'm sure someone smarter than me will. We've got a uh, Volpe and Bills and Anal Analysis. I don't think that's too good. Or I don't think he is that great. I think he wants to get more trainer cards, which I guess it could be worse, but... Definitely not too great because you can't use them to turn it. You search them. <sighs> Start picking up the pace here because we do have a, a lot more packs to go through. Uh, we got the the Pancham with the uh, with the uh, the clay art, art, which is always nice. And we got a reverse. What's the name of this card? Ingo and Elm Emmet, which isn't too bad. Definitely, I think he's the one that you discard your hand. If any deck that you'd really want to be putting cards away in the graveyard, like uh, I think Birch used to do, I think is the name of that card, where it's discard and draw seven. So, could be worse. We've got a, a low and muck here. Oh, cool. Yeah, not the. He's not. I don't think he's as as good as the other one, but he's definitely uh, definitely interesting. His I think his ability. What does his ability do? Oh, you get rid of your opponent's item cards. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. So he's pretty interesting for stunning your opponent or whatnot. We've got uh, Lavender Town, which I don't think is too great. They could have made it more ghost-themed or something. We got uh, Zapdos. Uh, and we got a full art, Indigo and Emmet, or Ingo and Emmet. That card's interesting. Ooh. Like, I like it. Yeah, it's, that's actually that's a that's a really yeah, nice it's art on there. Those, dude. Yeah. That's it's a uh, reverse. That's what I need it. So this is some really nice art on this one. But uh, I was hoping to get uh, maybe um, Erica's hospitality or something. Yeah. Cause she is worth a lot of money and she's Part very really very good. playable. Forty plus. I think she's like seventy. Last time I checked. No, she's like in the what forty range. Probably 40? fifty. No, forty yeah. to forty-five. Oh. Yeah, which is still good because that's going to help you re uh, recoup the cost of some of your box. Got some eggy boys. <laughs> and that is it for that pack. Still have so many. Yeah, I start going through these a little faster. I think it's time for a team up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan, you want to get in here? Yeah. So we got, we got Jasmine, which is actually a really interesting card for anyone playing a, oh, a yeah. metal deck. You could use it in the, um, the tool drop deck. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could use it with the new. Uh, you got a Starmie with the new. Um, yeah, because you use it to get Genesect and yeah, all of them. Yeah, 
Also, uh, we got Nidal Queen, which has also King in this set, so good. which is very interesting. From this pack, we got. Let's see. Oh, oh, Ooh. Ooh. is that the full art? Oh, uh, no, no it's just a regular Hoopa. GX Hoopa. Oh, that I thought, Hoopa's I thought like it was Incineroar. Really interesting with the Incineroar. The pincer. Little dick pinch. He's got a real funny attacker. If you uh, think if you roll three heads, you kill the opponent. Pokemon. No, two heads. <laughs> you, if you flip, flip two coins, two heads, you knock out the opponent's uh, Pokemon. That's hilarious. Two yeah. Prizes. Do so, uh, four cards from the back because the four? fourth is always the energy. Oh, okay. okay. If you do it from uh, the bottom. We got energy, spirit tomb, or higher. Let's see. Cloud. Got the Weedle. Coming in with the team up. <laughs> Boom. We got another pack here. <laughs> oh, wait. We got, I, I, the art on this one's really nice with the, the plaid background. I don't know how they came yeah. to that decision, but I like it a lot. Looking like a Louis Vuitton commercial. Yeah. Got a Jatini. I'm a fan of it. Even and though. very angry primate. Punch you in the mouth. Judge Whistle. Not bad. Pwn Edge. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Selby. See, another Kakuna. team up. Another team up. One of the weaker ones, but uh, a favorite of mine. Getting to just sit there and stall out your opponent with a big fat old Venusaur. We got a Heliite, I think is how you say that. And a little hacky sack electrode. It's pretty cute. in the middle of the pack. Klefki. Fetch keys. Aerodactyl. That's actually, he's yeah. actually a really strong attacker this set. Yeah. Two DC. I think it's three colorless. Yeah. Yeah. Three it's DC. for like 200 if you don't have a GX, which is pretty insane. I'm just a stage one Pokemon. Uh, I mean, fossils do have, uh, I think they have the one, the one field uh, or the one stadium card. Oh, we got yeah. a Tauros. This Tauros is actually pretty amazing part. too. Or yeah, I think it's it's like what it's like a map to whatever. Yeah, this, you can just this, search them out. Mm -hmm. This Tauros is really good too. Let's yeah, you deal. I like that Tauros a lot. Once you deal ten plus every damage on any Tauros. Okay. We've got a Nita. Let's see. Not bad. The uh, Kikavanchula. The Torquette. Yeah. Also, this set has special energies, if you guys didn't know. They have, like, uh, this border right here. Yeah, it's an easy really them, Yeah, it makes them look pretty cool. Oh, my God, I almost dropped the whole pack. I like this Pucciana thing, too. It looks like he's sitting in salsa. Oh, oh, man. Got the Incineroar GX, another really cool card coming out of this set. A lot of support nice. for, for the dark Pokemon. Black Market is, is pretty fantastic. Oh, Ooh, speak, speak of the devil. Yeah, Black Market. <laughs> Prism Star. Helps you, uh, helps you play a lot of GXs because it reduces their prize cost yeah, by one. The single prize attacker is just really yep. dumb. Got a Teeny Azura. A Lapras looking over her shoulder. Some really nice art for Lapras, too. Kind of looks like the original. Yeah. Just going to sail away. Got the low one grabbler. Far fetched. Joltic. Reverse foil Joltic. Get a, a far fetched. With the on the star. That card's actually really good. I believe it stops you from your opponent from using uh they can't play items if as long as you don't have any more Pokemon in them. So it's a real great way to just sit there and build up your bench. He is a stage, a stage two, which makes him a little hard to get out. Look at a nice reverse uh, Articuno. So it does make him a little hard to get out, considering you want him as early as possible. But definitely not a bad card. Let's see. Oh, Weedle. And Mr. Mr. Mine. Mine. I can throw all these away. Okay. <sighs> Got it. <laughs> Manu's not too bad either. Another, another bit of support for the the dark Pokemon. Got a Squirtle. And oh, awesome! 
I didn't think we could get another one, but we got a uh, secret Eevee and Snorlax GX. Ooh, one of the uh, one of the nicest looking cards, I think. Is like forest. a really cool deck with that card. Reverse foil Beedrill. That Beedrill is actually nasty. If he, if, if as long as him and the other Pokemon, or I think just him, has uh, has any damage, he gets a free knockout. But I think they both get knocked out. I uh, only if this Pokemon, yep, both actives are knocked out, which does suck because he is a stage two. So if he was like a stage one or something, or even a basic, I think basic might be a little too overpowered, but it'd be really nice. Oh, we got a Helios basking in that. And all that sunny day. Let's turn out with the Flaffy. Flaffy. Yeah. Flaffy, Flaffy. Lavender Town. And another Zapdos. Oh, it's a real good pull out of this set. Yeah. Zapdos is definitely going to be one of the decks coming out of here. Making a, a lot of waves. More plaid, uh, plaid Lavatars. We got a reverse Alolan Grimer, sucking in all that, all that stuff. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we got uh, more box openings and <laughs> card set reviews and a lot of other stuff coming to the channel. So thanks for stopping by. Just like, Just comment, and subscribe. To check out Everyday, Everyday Gaming. Gaming. <laughs>